All right, hello folks, hello friends, painter friends and friends of everything out there in your net land. I'm back here at the easel again, and I just want to do something pretty simple. It's actually something I'll kind of hold on to in case I start teaching classes again. And I've already got my liquid wine on here, so I think I'm ready to go. Let's just check it. That's what you're wanting to kind of see as a, as a, uh, and an, as an example of what liquid white should look like. You don't want it like sticking up off your fingers. You don't want it your hand sticking to the canvas or anything. So, just kind of a nice light covering all over to where you can still see the ridges of your fingerprints, and everything should be good enough. I am going to take the two inch brush I put the liquid white on with and grab some crimson. I'm gonna coat this whole canvas with crimson. Something easy, something easy. Hope everybody's well out there. I've not done a video for a couple weeks. I'm trying to get back on a normal schedule. We're getting close. We're getting close. My aim is to do one a week, one a week, and then go from there. Maybe pop in every now and then for more than one a week. Who knows? But just crimson all over. I could have done this before I started the video. But I just decided to not worry with it and just do it when I started. You don't want to put too much paint, but if you want it a little darker, always get it a little darker. We're going to put a little bit of clouds in the sky here in a minute, so it's not going to be a big deal that it's not completely as dark as I'd want it to be. I want a little bit of crimson in this area where the mountain will go. You may already know that I like mountains. Mountains are one of my favorite things to paint in this style. I also like trees. I, I really don't know if it's trees or mountains anymore. But usually when I have a mountain, guess what? I have trees too. So, and we can just put our water in any, any old way for this one. It doesn't really matter. Now, if you're trying to be exactly maybe like Bob or some others, you want to pull your water in like this. But for me, I'm just going to throw crimson all over the canvas. So I don't really care. I can make this water right here really quickly. It's not a big deal. Remember to experiment, move your brushes in different ways and see which way works the best for you. That is what Bob would want. And we want to do what Bob would want us to do. Right? Bob is, again, a hero of mine. So if Bob wanted me to experiment with things and move the brushes around differently and and try different brushes. By golly, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I've got it pretty well covered. That's good enough. I just wanted a nice red, red glow on there. And again, I've got liquid white on the canvas, so that made it a little easier to apply this. If you didn't want this color to dilute, all you need to do is just put it on here dry. People always assume that Bob used liquid white for everything, but he didn't. In the first few seasons, he never used liquid white uh, on it. Never. He didn't use liquid white on some of the episodes. Or if he didn't have liquid clear, he didn't use it on a black can. So just put the dry paint right on there. It works. All right, I'm going to mix colors off, off camera here. Just be a mystery to you guys, but I think you'll figure it out. Now I'm going to grab some Prussian blue. And we'll give me some crimson. Prussian blue and crimson. More crimson than Prussian blue. Prussian blue is a pretty strong color. Yeah. We want that great, that lavendery feel here. It can be to the red side or it can be to the blue side. It really doesn't matter. Match. Let it be yours, you know, if you paint it along with me ever. I try to encourage people just to do what they want to do. I'm going to load up a fan brush with some paint. And the fan brush has a good bit of paint on there. I'm going to take a paper towel, though. And I am going to just wipe that thing out a little bit. I don't want much paint. Let's see if this is enough. And I'm going to real carefully, watch this, twirl in some, some stuff up here. And when I said carefully, I didn't really mean it. As you might be able to see. Just some dark color up in the corners. Look at this. Just go all over. Do the brush like this. It doesn't matter. We're going to blend this stuff out anyway. Throw a little blue in there. Mine a little bit bluer. And 
don't think that you have to stop here. You can you can go back and change the color at any point, really. Take paper towel, wipe all this off if you wanted to. And I'll throw a little bit extra dark up here in the corners and just kind of twirl in a little bit more here. Twirling in this means kind of doing little circles. But however you get in here is fine. Doesn't really matter, something like that. I'm going to use a one inch brush I've got laying here just to go in here and really just stir this up. Mainly the bottoms. Mainly the bottoms. But something like that, just to diffuse the clouds a bit. But I'm also just going to twirl up in here. I want just some of this to just be dark in the sky. I don't want it to necessarily be cloudy shapes. Just, just something happening. I may throw, throw, throw a little bit more cloudy shape up here in a minute. But for now, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and knock all these down, actually. Just some dark, some misty stuff in the background. And then maybe we'll pull off a, a, a cloud that's a little more detailed, a little more cloud like sorry for the shaking there don't ever worry about clouds if, the people that have tr trouble painting clouds are the ones that worry to death about them that used to be me by the way too anymore just go up there with the brush and just kind of go crazy up here now you know let's bring one of these back out maybe maybe this guy here I should have got a better fan brush this one's not not my favorite you just throw a little bit like that. Pull a little bit there. Just something like that kind of coming down. And then for this one, all I'm going to do is just kind of walk back that bottom edge. See this? And you can, again, you could just go back and put that back into the canvas if you didn't like it. But I think that'll do. Maybe, maybe just a little something over here on this side. Let's get away from the same shapes every time. There we go. That's my problem maybe with clouds anymore is that I, I tend to look back at them like, well, that cloud looks the same as the other cloud. There we go. It's crimson and blue make you up a little color that's kind of dark. Tap some things going on here if you wanted to. Bring some color down in here. I mean, goodness. There's a, there's a ton of things that you could sit here and do all day, but... We probably don't need to worry about it too much. I'm going to grab this some straight black. Just some straight black. No more clouds. I want to try to move along today. Just a, should be a simple painting. I'm not going to put I'm going to put more things in the foreground than in the background. So I don't want to spend too much time on the sky and clouds. Even if I don't like it, I'll probably just move on. I do want my mountain in here though. Let's see where we can put this guy. I want a little, a little bit different shape at the top there. Just a little more flat than the traditional kind of peaky mountain that I make. And I don't want a lot of stuff over here. Just kind of want it running off like that. I mean, you could take your knife like that and go just throw something like that on there. And you kind of keep these shapes. See how you just move that paint around? Real easy, isn't it? And, and the worst thing that could happen is you just fix it if it gets out of control. No big deal. That this this black is really really not dry enough. We'll, we'll cross our fingers that Bram can make the snow stick. Bram's a little a little worried about that at this point. I'm gonna beat that up a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Just a little different shape. Not as uh, pointy as normal, maybe. But again, it's not that different, really. <laughs> uh, it's a little different, but it's not too different, right? Uh, over here, I don't really care. Over here, I don't really care too much. I want to have room for a lot of trees on the edges. So, just get in here and scrape a little bit. Don't pull it down too far, because we're working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I don't want the mountain to all of a sudden be down to here. Let's take our two inch brush that we had working with and see what we can do with it. See what we can do with it. Let's go to wipe it off on a paper towel just to remove some of the excess paint that we have on there. It's not a big deal. I'm bad just to do that all the time. But be careful if you want to keep some paint in your brush because you'll have a clean brush. You're like, where'd my paint go? 
I just want to pull this down a little bit, kind of like this. I want some of the, the, the bottom of these mountains to look like they just disappear into that crimson. That's by design. Uh, something like this. Just kind of pull. Try to keep your edge kind of clean at the top is the only real... Again, I don't know if it's a rule, but just a suggestion maybe. This one maybe just get pulled this way. I don't know really. Until I start putting the snow on. Sometimes I'll change it at the last minute here. You know, don't have to decide right now. This one can get pulled down a little bit. This one could get pulled back this way a little bit. So just decide what you want on your painting and you do that. You do you and, and I'll do me. And we'll meet somewhere in the middle and we'll be all okay with everything, won't we? Hope everybody's staying well. Enjoying the last bit of summer as best as you can. Just stay safe. I know several people right now that um, good friends, uh, good painter friends that have uh, have the, the virus right now. And they're not doing too hot with it. So be careful. Just, just, just be careful with yourself out there. You didn't tune in to hear all that news again. All right. I'm just going to take my little one-inch brush and I'm actually going to go ahead and diffuse this a little bit more. See that? It's kind of how it disappeared down here. I don't want to see these edges. You can do the one, you can do the two inch, but I had so much paint on there. This one didn't have much. Just kind of let this sit somewhere in here. You bring a little bit of that color. You want to kind of cut the midpoint away from your canvas, but you don't want to come much lower than that on this one. Well, we're not really striving to meet the golden rule, but if, if we accidentally get there, maybe that's a good thing. I doubt we will, because Graham can, Graham's not that talented. But, golden ratio, not the golden rule. There we go. Something like that. We've got a nice little shape on there. Let's see how it's looking on the camera. Yeah, you can actually see. If you just sit around and play with these things, sometimes you could leave a mountain looking like that, and it would be fine. Not every mountain has snow on it. Uh, or uh, visible rocks. I mean, we have foothills around here. The Smoky Mountains don't really have a lot of... rocks sticking out of them and things. So you see a lot of green, a lot of trees. All right, I just grabbed me some liquid, I'm sorry, titanium white. Titanium white and some of that black. My only complaint is that this is loose. I'm gonna marble those colors. I don't wanna see white, I don't wanna see black. I don't want this to be a normal snowy mountain. Actually, we may make it a little darker and then highlight it. Let me see what I got here. Let's see what this does. Let's see here. Let's start here. So we can hide this if we don't like it. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, that could work. Oh, went outside my outline. Oh, dear. Will I ever recover? Probably not. Just a little something back there. A little bit of something goes a long way, doesn't it? I'm really thinking the light's mainly coming from that right side, but you could just pull straight down on this. Probably look nice on this one. Could be a cliff, even I don't know. This one, kind of gonna pull straight down. Not a cliff, but I just want the mountain to kind of get a little wider there all of a sudden. Not really working from a photo or anything, so whatever happens, happens. Just kind of want to sit back there in the background. Not give us any trouble. I don't know, can mountains cause trouble? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Not sure I'm liking that, but we'll live with it. Really, I don't know if you guys, if you can see how loose this paint is or could feel how loose this paint is. 
you would also understand that the um, the amount of pressure that you really need to use when painting because this is this is pretty close to liquid white here for some reason not good but we can make it work and you can make it work not just me goodness want a little bit down in there see how I'm putting a little bit more white now and all, all I want to do for the shadows really is, is just think about because this is an evening photo think about pulling back on that color a little bit before we go on and put a little extra white on it that will give it the illusion that there's some shadows back in there turn it over to use that little edge if we want to you can even maybe, maybe just a tad bit darker color here Let's see here. Put this kind of color on all of all of it and see what happens. There we go. That's a little nicer. So I am going to put just a little bit of shadow and and the shadow color is actually going to be pretty much the same color as I started with because I'll show you just in a second. Why well, it doesn't matter. It's a little darker. I hope you can see that. Just a tad. Not like super dark or anything. There we go. Okay, okay. I think that'll work. Let's kind of clean off our knife. And just a tiny touch of black and a white pile. Very, very much pretty, pretty white. I just want to lay some here and there. A little bit of white on top of that gray. Look, there's a little snow collecting up in here in spots. Something like that. Can run it down this ridge even right here. There we go. Yeah, I'll tell you what we should do. I don't know why I'm not doing this. Goodness, it's going to look better than that. A little bit of, of the white, the red in there, the crimson. We can run a little bit of that reach over. Sometimes that light will spill right over, just like that. I don't intend for the mountains to be the stars, so I don't want to spend too much time on this one. Just a little bit. Just a little bit there. I kind of like it, though. You throw a little black in with your red. A little black in there. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this one could kind of connects right in there somewhere. I don't know. Clean that up. I'm gonna this whole right side and left side will be covered by trees, so it's not gonna be a big deal if those sides don't look great. Take and put a little little area of snow right in here. Just a little bit. We can always throw a little extra white on top if we want to. Working that down. There we go. I think I see something that I better do. Bob always said he saw stuff on the canvas. Well, I better try it. I don't like the looks of this anyway. It just kind of swoops back around like that. You can see what I did there. Just kind of put a little bit of color and just throw a little bit in there. Eek. More white. Scoot the chair up here a little closer. Getting 
getting tired. Already. I mean, what am I? A quarter of the way through the painting, maybe? I'm asking you guys. You have no clue where I'm going, probably. I don't have a clue where I'm going. I like that. Look, that little jet there is nice. Alright, let's just, let's just call a mountain today. We, don't, we know we can paint a mountain, so we don't need to sit here and tinker with it for 30 minutes. So let's don't. I'm going to tap this out a little bit. And I really want to focus on bringing some little foothills off this thing. See that? How they kind of disappear down into there? Two hairs and some air just kind of out of the way of the two inch brush makes more sense for this step. But I got a nice new, newish one inch brush out here. It's it's super new, but all the Bob Ross stuff washed off of it. It's an older one, so maybe maybe the paint didn't hold well on it. Just kind of set this mountain right down in here. Look like it's just creeping right into that crimson. Creeping to the crimson. I'll pull a little bit of this. Watch this. Pull that that way. Just, just for a little extra, extra zing. I think we'll call that good enough. For what I want. And now I'm going to take the one inch brush. And I am going to find some of that black that I have on the palette. black and some of the, the white well, mostly the white probably I want a gray a little gray color here let's see if this will work here I'm just mixing just mixing right on my brush I don't need to mix everything with a palette knife uh, just to kind of mix it right on the brush I want to see yeah I want to just throw a few of these guys in here Okay. I'll change the angle sometimes, bounce around a little bit. A little ridge there. I'm going to put a ridge back there because that's a little further. Well, I'll tell you what, we could talk myself into it just a little bit. Just, I'm going to leave it very faint back in here. Just some little things growing up this, this mountain. Just so you see it a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, this is a super easy uh, little scene. Not anything complex that anybody couldn't do that's painted a couple times. Will it look exactly like mine? Turns out maybe not. It'll probably look better. I'll put one right here. They all don't have to come all the way down. Something like that. Just some little ridges there might be nice. Squeaky chair is really squeaking today. Oh lord, that one went all the way up to there. And actually, I might just let that one grow into this one a little bit. Maybe it gets right there. Try to save some of those little pockets, though, between. That really does make a difference. It really does. Pocket. Uh, pockets of light. I should, should, should explain what I was mentioning. They'd be like, I don't see a pocket. And then I just kind of want to soften these down a little bit. Maybe just pull them. Let's see what that happens. Let's see what that does. I don't want them to get too, too much down here. Yeah, just kind of diffuse the bottom edges. Something like that. Can't really do much back here. We can take a little bit. Should have done this before I did the, the next row, right? Maybe just tickle that one a little bit. Something like that, yeah. And then, if we wanted to, especially since it looks kind of nice, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but just pull straight up. Don't pull up with so much force that you're pulling like coastal redwoods or anything out of here, but just pull up a little bit on these, these little foothills and it'll look like little trees in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, that looks nice. It looks nice to do that. Up here, don't pull. Just pull straight up, though. Unless you want your trees to look like you're in a hurricane, just pull straight up. Yeah, 
real careful there with it, right? It actually is starting to look like the way I wanted it to, guys. That's amazing. I don't, I don't like how diffused I've got it, though. I want it to be... I'm going to add a little bit of dark back in here. I'm not real worried about this side, but I don't want it to just look like a, a tiny, tiny line of, of trees. Add a little bit in there. Add a little bit in there, and then maybe take our wiped off one inch brush here and go back just a little bit. Just kind of right at the base of that a little bit. There, just kind of diffuse it. There we go. Move it, move that around a little bit if we wanted to. And kind of always good to just kind of pull up some color. There, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I don't want that very detailed. And then I'm going to put a bigger one right in front here. So we'll add a little bit more dark. We'll add a little bit. Let's add a little blue and black. Just to change it a bit. Into that pile of paint we were working with for those. Okay. Push up. Always push up. And one thing about these brushes is that they're typically tapered. So if you bounce straight down on your palette, you're not going to load it right. Kind of turn your brush this way and go in at the paint. And then flip it over, go on the other side. That way you'll get a really nice distribution of paint as you're working. And that's what you need to really kind of make this work. Let's see if this will work. Oh, this color is nice. It's, a, it's darker, a little bit darker. I don't want to lose my little, I don't want to lose some of that little, little mist back in there. But it can come up over here and, and change, something like that. Just to cut that off even more. Maybe a touch more black in there. And all we're doing is making a little foothill here. This will be the, the this will be the stopping point for our, our background. And we can we can leave it like this. We can pull some little trees up off of it. One thing you don't want to do is tinker with it too much. Kind of let it live somewhere. Find out where it lives and let it stop. I'm gonna bring it. This side might get covered pretty pretty much, but we'll bring it down a little bit more here. Always try to bring your land down. Envision where your land would meet the water. And if you can do that, you should be able to just bring it right down. Remember, we'll have to put some water in here. The color is there, but we'll make it look like water, I guess. Something like that. Now it's a little, mine is sloping a little bit. I may fill this in right here. Just, just have a bigger area right here. We'll make this look a little flatter and a little, a little nicer, I think. I do not know if it will or not. There we go. Yeah. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I think it will work. I never know. I've got a clean two inch brush. Let's see what this looks like. If you want to. We could throw highlights on this, but I don't I don't really want to. Yeah, and sometimes I'll turn the brush this way in a few spots and it'll actually pick up little well I didn't listen to my own rule. It will pick up little pieces of a foothill. I see something here I want to change real quick. I don't know what the weather's been like around you guys. We'll, we'll do a little weather report like David Lynch here. It's been rainy here. Uh, we've had probably eight inches of rain the past three days. I joked with someone that I may have to just float down to their house. Not far from the truth, actually. And it's been so, so, so rainy. Here, I'm just adding a little bit of dark. Maybe there's two rows of this stuff in here. Who knows what we got going on. It wasn't dark enough for my eye. But I hope you're having some good weather. We needed the rain. I don't know that we needed eight inches on orange. For over a couple days. So we'll take it. Never curse the rain. One of my favorite things about nature is after a big rain, go outside the next morning and the sky just looks nicer. 
it just clears away so much smog and stuff in the air, but it's also just very refreshing. Just one of those nice things about nature. I like what we got. Sometimes you finger paint and do better. But we won't curse the rain too much. It's picking up all this, guys. Just go leave it kind of back here as a little range of stuff. I actually see something right here I want to change. And this will probably get lost in the, in the, in the end, but if it does, it may look nice. I've got an idea for the foreground already. The foreground is really what I wanted to focus on anyway. All right. Yeah. It's a little darker over there. Nice. If you wanted to, you could even be real careful and, and put another row here and leave that mist in between that red so you see it. That'd probably look nicer. Just, just a suggestion. We need to pull a little bit of this down. Remember, you're going to pull down just enough to give your, give it a sense of reflection here. And I'm going to reflect the big mountain. Can you reflect? People always ask, can you reflect on the... I can. I've done it before. I don't think I showed anybody. I thought it looked awful. But I've done it. You can do it. Um, I think it's just fun. I've got pictures from out in Mount Rainier when we were out there. Uh, one of the big areas there with the big mountain right behind it. And there's a lake. And you can't see the mountain, the picture I took. So just imagine that this, this is one that the mountain just wouldn't reflect for some reason. Like the angle's not right or something. Something like that. And then you know, always go across. It's almost it's almost vital to this technique of water. And I just you just kind of glass it out. Now you could really beef up that reflection. I don't think I want to. I may try it in a wild area. Because if I put too much dark, it won't look good with the crimson. Yeah, I think I'm fine with it. Sometimes I'll take the other, the brush that I put this on with and throw a little extra back in here. But I like the crimson. I don't, I don't know that I want to mess that, mess with that too much. See, I've already, I don't think that looks as good as what I had. So I'm just going to say that's good enough for a reflection. We're just trying to trick our eye a little bit. There we go. Got that in. I'm not going to highlight that background any at all. But I am going to take a little titanium white. Maybe a touch of crimson in it even. Yeah, that's gonna look good. And then a little roll of paint. It's just kind of a little bit of a water ripple back here. Remember to follow your land. Don't don't go like let your knife dip down. You're just going to trade across there. Got to work. You can put this on thick. You can put it on thin. It doesn't really matter. I know that there's going to be trees over here, so I'm not really that worried about it over here. We'll leave that good enough. One thing I've been liking is going back. Just occasionally and maybe. A little chunkier. Here and there. I'll try not to let you know I dip like I just did. Yeah. You can play around with this all day. I think Bill Alexander is probably the one that, for a water line, I actually like his better than, than Bob. Bill would just throw crazy colors in the water and it looked good. You can do that too. But Bill kind of followed that same rule, keeping it nice and level. So it doesn't look like the water's going to like dip out of the canvas or anything. If you do that, it's probably not advisable to do too much. And then maybe just whip that knife around a little bit in here. Even get a little dark down in there is nice. Always wipe that knife if you need to. You knew that. You're smart enough to know that. Just leave it chunky in spots. It's kind of nice. 
and drag the knife. Just let the knife come off. Let whatever it wants to come off, come off. If, if it gets a little dark in there, I think it looks a little more natural. Like there's something there on that water. You know, Jason Voorhees is going to pop out of here any minute. No, I hope not. Somebody's like looking who that is. Most of you know. It's not Camp Crystal Lake. Bob wouldn't want me thinking something like that, I don't think. Unless it made me happy, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just getting crazy here, guys. It's pretty much all I do. Alright, there we go. We'll leave it right there. Super, super easy. Again, just a few colors. Throwing some things in here and seeing what happens today. And I'm going to give myself an excuse. I got new glasses. I cannot see real well right now. So if the painting looks awful to you, just say, oh, it's the new glasses. You really don't have to do that. You can just leave in the comments. That looks horrendous. And I'll be like, I know. Alright. Alright. I want to just throw in some land down here. Remember this doing? Maybe I hadn't feet on the canvas in a while. My printer is that bad. One lower one. I just want this is pure black. You can have you have a little mountain mix, or you can throw a little blue into it. Just something keep it dark. Keep it nice and dark. You can throw in a little green if you want to do a little, little satin green. I'm not worried about it on mine yet. One thing I don't want to do, and it's gonna be a mess when I take this off the season, is I don't want to see that. <laughs> See, there. <laughs> it will bother me. It really will bother me. It'll be a huge mess, but at least I, I just need a little area of grassy, marshy land down here. Take it all the way across if you want to. Kind of dependent upon your mood more than mine when you're painting these. If you paint these, you may be like tuning in like that. That guy's a fool. I'm not going to stay here and listen to him. I understand that too completely. Because it's probably true. Alright. Let's put some trees on this sucker. I'm trying to decide what I want to use. I'll use my fan brush, but I think I'm actually going to go grab the filbert and do these. No, probably just use fan. I'm going to get me some black. I'm going to have some sap green. Also, I've got some laying here. I'm going to have to go get it. Not looking good. Not looking good. Not looking good. Got plenty of blue. Let me pause this real quick. All right. Got me a couple filberts. I got me some set green here. So I keep all my stuff out in the garage. That's where I clean brushes. That's where I do a lot of things. That's where eventually I might have a little painting studio. I'll show you guys if that ever happens. There we go. Ugh. Old tube. This is an old tube of satin green. I didn't want to come out of the tube. I want to throw some satin green in with that black. Maybe just about equal parts. Just as long as your color stays nice and dark. It's okay if it has a little green tone to it. Here in the foreground, we, we don't have to just use blue, I'm sorry, black and gray all day. And red. We have a little color in here. Not really much more. All right, let's, let's think about this for a minute. We want some trees for sure, right? I don't want one of these trees. See, well, say I'm gonna lose most of this. I want one of these trees right here. And I'm just gonna use a fan just to kind of lay out the, actually I just drag it, because it's not a evergreen like normal. Normally I wouldn't encourage anybody to drag that. And then I'm going to grab my thinner bucket and get just a little bit of thinner. 
All right, so I don't know what happened, but my video stopped recording at some point. I, looking at it, it looks like my light, there we go. It looks like it wasn't too far. I just put more limbs in. It's kind of like Bob. I could put a video of a squirrel in here, and you can watch that while I did the limbs. But I put a bunch more limbs in. It looks like. All right, I don't know what happened. Really weird. But maybe a phone call came in and kind of cut it off. I'm gonna take the filbert, load the filbert up. Pretty good with paint. You know, I'm gonna just carefully put some foliage on these. Uh, I'm gonna start on this one actually. I'm gonna try this method. Just kinda. Of, yeah, I'm kinda of, almost like an up tree. You know, when Bob does a little up trees. But I'm just using the filbert. And I'm not, I'm not pushing terribly hard. I don't want this to get like really super fat on me. See that? I do want to stay really good and dark though. A little different. Yeah, I'm trying not to go too fast on these. Yeah, these are definitely maybe, maybe these are eastern white pines. They look a little more pine tree than normal, right? You don't have to push it up too much. Maybe there's, and we want to leave a lot of spacing in there. These trees get bigger. They they have sometimes a lot of places in the middle. Maybe some from dying, but just kind of see that. I think it's a neat way to do these trees. You could use a fan brush for this too. It's just I'm I'm preferring to use. Filbert today. It's one of those things I like. Doesn't make it right. But guess what? It doesn't make it wrong either. If anybody's ever listened to me and I start sniffling on here, this paint, I don't know what's in it. But I keep my thinner pretty much covered, so I don't really have that open. I'm not worried about that, but the paint gives me a little sniffles. It's always good to kind of be a little careful. Look, I covered up every limb I have. I wasn't really paying attention. But I like the tree, so I don't like the bottom of this tree. So what I may do is, this one comes all the way off the canvas, it looks like. Let's just put a little bit here. You can definitely use a fan for this too, guys. You don't need one of these filters to do this. A little bit like that. Yeah, that filled it in a little bit nicer for me. I may just sneak a little a little bark on the trunk even. Who knows? I may leave it black. I haven't decided. Uh, since we're experimenting and having fun, what, what if we tap down? What is that going to look like? That looks nice too. So either way, I'm going to do both. I have a couple of each here. At least I'm going to try to leave some of these limbs kind of sticking out though. Not all of them. Problem with the filbert is, I think I've mentioned it several times over now, it takes a little bit longer to finish your trees out. And most likely the reason Bob didn't rely on this brush for much, besides seascapes really, and rocks, he did some rocks with them, is that it just took too long. Smaller brush. Can't move as you can't move as fast. The detail's not there. I'm sorry, not the detail, but the time's not there. Well, I've had 27 minutes to finish a canvas a little bit bigger than this one, so I think I'm probably in the 40 minute range here. And Bob's would look a lot nicer than mine. So. Yeah, I, I like this brush though. And you can hold it back here. You can hold it close. It's just. You can do, I mean, it's just an all around good brush for everything. We'll put a little limb off the bottom there. I think that's going to be okay for that one. Yeah. Like that. Uh, let's do, just, let's just do a few on this one. Sorry, my hand's going to be in the way. I'll try to turn it a little bit there. 
Let's stand up, maybe that'll help. I'm just pushing up. Well, this one I don't want to fill it in much. Skip a good bit there. May have just been better to use the black. Not sure I like the green in it. You really can't see it too much, but. do these video guys I don't get very animated typically I don't think this lends itself to yelling and screaming and pooping and hollering should be relaxing now if it's you want to for me like when I paint by myself I'll, I'll turn music on I'm not saying it's wrong to yell and scream but we've got enough screaming yelling things on TV as there is. I don't want to watch somebody yelling and screaming on my painting videos. That's just me. I'm weird though. Now I really like this tree so I'm not going to cover this one much at all. Alright, yet again Bram's technical issues continue today. I don't know how much because I haven't looked at the video yet really but my phone just up and died on me so it'll be a little bit of a starting and stopping point. I may have put a little more foliage on. I don't really know what all I got done before the phone cut off. I just heard it buzz and I was like, well, I know what that means. I had to plug it up. The phone's getting old on me. It's not holding as much charge anymore. And another little branch down here. Because I don't like that area of that tree. Is this this is the tappy down one, yep. So let's just tap down on that a little bit. Fill in a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, I like that much better. Good thing you remember you don't even have to have branches there to put foliage. Needles, whatever. Whatever you're working with. There we go. Let's go back to our other tree here. That we were probably working on when my phone died. Let's skip a little bit, put a little bit, skip a little bit, put a little bit. I've almost decided to not even wear those highlights on these. I don't think it needs it. It's kind of a muted painting anyway, so I wouldn't see many highlights. Kind of tapping down here. I think I've made these before in other videos. Not really anything special. Something like that. Kind of fills in nicely. And leaving some of the spacing and, and seeing through there is a little nice. Well, that's an up tree. Hold up. Yeah. But do what you feel like doing. And this one could be very super sparse, such as. some more uh, little stuff out of here probably I think I've got an idea for got five trees on there we need more than five don't we let's just do all the trees that we can do on here let me use the fan brush I'm gonna keep it super super skinny though Now I'm paranoid that the phone's going to cut off. Check it here in a minute. Let's kind of keep this one nice and tight. Tight, tight, tight. Like two coat. Yeah, I watch too much TV. 
don't know where it stops. Because I'm going to put some grass down there too. We'll kind of leave that one there for now. We could put a deciduous tree in here if we wanted to. Got one more. One more of those guys. A little bit bigger. If you all of a sudden hear the dogs go crazy, I will pause the video. I think Karen's on her way home. So it's likely Henry Copper will be throwing a fit here any minute. Good enough. That's gonna work. Keep looking at it and see what else we can put. A little bit of something down here, maybe. Come down a little further with that one. That green, don't if you paint this one, I mean this is not a fancy painting or anything. I don't expect anybody to just follow along on this one. But if you do, don't put the green into black. Just use black. It looks better. I, can, I mean, I kind of like the green a little bit, but not much. One thing I want to do here now is just kind of take this, take this little brush here and just kind of push up some stuff here. It doesn't look so flat. I'm pulling my trees back out of it. I'm not really highlighting, I'm just I'm changing the shape. Alright, let's finish this thing out in some way. Getting close. See all I'm doing here is just pushing up on this brush. Get a little grassy texture. I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna put any highlight. Henry! Sorry, right, heard it all. He's quite vocal. There we go. And, 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 and. And I only need a couple of these. green color I don't like. These may be better to do them straight down. I think I might have a little better control over it. So let's see. Yeah. Not like how thick that is, but we'll live with it. Put some little dead things in here. This one apparently got stepped on there in the middle. All of these little things add details to your painting that you need. Gotta have them. Do another one right here. I'm just gonna put some sticks in here. Try to get one here. Oh, wavy. See if this will cover. There we go. There we go. And you can always just have some little friendly stick tree down here. Some grass, maybe. Everywhere, just something, something, something. Put a little bit on this guy here. Not really even hitting the tree sometimes. Grassy stuff in here. Might be nice. 
sticking up everywhere. Eh, not too bad. Well, we need some little things off of these guys. Don't make ray gun sounds as you paint. Probably not the best thing. Unless you want to. Put a little thicker trunk in that guy. Oh, paint thinner. Paint thinner is your friend for these things. Maybe there's another tree that's growing up here. More of just a stick tree. Something like that. I think I'm missing something right here. I think I'm missing something right there. Let's put a few more branches on these guys and we'll kind of look at it. Like C, I just made a C in my tree. Made a lot of those C's in school. Don't make them on your canvas, so. though. All kinds of little stuff going on in here. In a scene like this, you've just got to fill it up. We're using substance to fill instead of like highlights with like a lot of stuff instead of worried about it being perfectly highlighted yeah one more little thing maybe two little things who knows get us another one of these guys Further. Keeping it skinny though. Told you I'd lose that back foothill. I'm going to see it. We're not going to see it at all. Driving that brush back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Nothing in there. It's not dark enough. if I wanted to a couple little things here and we'll call this one good let's do one thing that I know I want to do I'm going to mess things up I'll go back over it I'll start about right here this tree maybe comes all the way down and make it look like it does. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. A little bigger there. And I'll fill that in a little bit. We just pushed up on those, didn't we? Yeah, just like that. Just push up. Push in those areas. Something like that. Maybe a little bit down there. Who knows? Very monochromatic, I guess. Almost. Let's bring this one right there. There we go. Well, close in that. to where I wanted it to be. Yeah, there we go. And, and, just 
just in case we covered up all of these guys, throw a few in here. Yep, 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 yep. And then what I was saying we could do if we wanted to. Touch of white, touch of green, touch of black. If you guys can see that or not. This will act as a little green in here. There. Let me get a color. Difficulties. There it is. We'll call it Pine Lake. Let's get you a straight on shot. There it is. Alright, guys, I'll see you soon. Have fun. Be well, stay well, and be kind to others, please. I'll see you further down the road, okay? Take care.